Hello everyone. So I'm here to tell you your next task for social studies. I know you already finished your uh, Malala Square paper about your analysis of her quote, and then you also did the cause and effect relationships of her society's needs and her actions. So now what you're going to do is you are going to hypothesize the answer to a question. Yesterday, I was listening to an interview with Malala, and Malala said that 66 million girls don't go to school in the world. 66 million girls don't go to school. So what I would like you to do is to answer this question. What could the world be like if everyone has an education? This question is extended abstract because it's a hypothesis. It's a prediction of what the world could be like. So I will show you the success criteria and then I will show you an example. The success criteria for this question is the world is, so you need to describe the world right now, along with the fact of 66 million girls don't go to school. Then you need to say the world can be, you're not going to say will be because you don't know for sure, you're making a guess, a hypothesis, and give an example. You also need to mention equal education. So not only girls going to school, but girls and boys both being able to go to school and how that will positively influence the world. Here's my exemplar. If everyone has an education, the world will... So here's the world right now. The world is polluted. This is pollution around the world. It feels so sad. 66 million girls don't go to school. So I told about a problem about the world right now. Here's the future, what the future could be like. If 66 million girls can also go to school along with boys, boys and girls can work together to think of more solutions and more ideas to help solve pollution in our world and make a healthier world in the future. So if I look at my example, Along with this success criteria, I will tell you why this is Ninja Master. First, I show you how the world is. It has pollution. That's true. We know that. I also have my fact. 66 million girls don't go to school. And then I showed you what the world can be like with an example. I used my words to tell you my example. I also mentioned equal education because I have girls and boys working together to think of new ideas, not only boys and not only girls. Okay. So that is your question with your success criteria. When you finish all of your ideas, work with a partner to put your ideas on the blog. I will have the blog on my phone and then I can check your answers while I'm on the train. So, uh, if you have any questions, please ask Miss Yin, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.